We had a bunch of donations to drop off at our town thrift store and so of course while we were there we had to go inside and we found some really cool things so I'm glad that we did. Okay, the thing that I was really excited about this time was the book. Um, all the books at this thrift store are free, and I found some good ones this time. I was really excited to find this Amish Canning Cookbook. I actually had a, a couple of these on my wish list. Not this one exactly, but I just wanted more canning cookbooks. So I found this Amish Canning Cookbook, and there was a second. Here, this one. Small Batch Preserving. Then I found a Clay Clarkson uh, book that actually I had had on my Amazon wish list, so that's pretty cool. This I'm really excited about. I have wanted to do one of these with the kids for a long time. It's a timeline book, so you can see the the dates along the bottom. And I had actually bought one from Amazon that was just that. It was just the dates on the bottom, but I was struggling to find all the photos or the images to fill it with. This one has them all there already. All you have to do is cut them out as you're learning about history and glue them on the right spot in the timeline. So yeah, really excited to find that. This is an activity book, just has different things like that. A handwriting book here. This one looks really fun, Around the World Cookbook for Children. I have some kids that will enjoy cooking out of that. Then I have this Swiss Family Robinson uh, picture book. So it's like the picture storybook. And this one is questions about ancient Rome. And then Elsie, you're reading one that we found today? <laughs> She's into it. It's like, wait, what? Rifles Mountain, which is a sequel to... My Side of the Mountain. My it's Side of the Mountain. It's not quite as good as My Side Not as good as My Side of the Mountain. I think she's read it before. Yeah, I've read it before. Okay, we actually were just saying we needed more pencils, so we picked up these pencils. This pair of shoes, Adidas shoes, were in Samuel size. Also, I've been um, finding Christmas cups to just add to our Christmas cup collection. It's just fun to drink tea and coffee out of Christmas cups during the month of December. Okay, this is, oh, these were in there, new products. This is a dog supplement. And our mama dog, I just, when I saw this, I thought that is perfect for her, just to give her some extra nourishment. We've got two of these that we saw again. They're the little melatonin gummies. I just like to keep these in the pantry for once in a while. It's not something that I would give to anybody every day, but they were 50 cents. 25. Okay, so 50 together. Elsie found this little thing. She's always looking for things to decorate her dollhouse. So, oops, I don't know if you can see it. But the boys found two basketballs and they were 50 cents. This is very exciting because our kids got a basketball hoop. And I will actually take you out to show it to you. Um, the company sent it to us and they have been absolutely loving it. So I will take, um, take you outside and show you that in a bit. Okay, also a few other things. We are going to a party with Rob Your Neighbor, and so I wanted to get some kid things to wrap up for that. Um, this is a disc flyer for 25 cents. Bubbles were 50 cents. Two of these really fun flying thingamajiggers for 50 cents. And this spin and skip, which I think was a quarter. James found this fun toy for 50 cents, I believe. Oops. The wrong thing. And then um, Leo found these are really great shape. Some ear canceling headphones that are a smaller size for kids. These are a dollar and they are just perfect condition. Bella grabbed another twin sheet. These white sheets we uh, pull apart in strips to tie along electric fencing so that animals and people can see that there is an electric fence there. Then this is a basket that we're going to use to make a Christmas gift basket for somebody who has uh, really been a blessing to us. This was a dollar for this really beautiful basket. Okay, let me walk around this side of the table. It was the $2 bag sale today. We actually did not fill a bag. We went in and out and didn't fill it all the way up, but it was still so worth it. So all of this for $2. So a pair of pajama pants, this t-shirt, uh, a boy's t-shirt, and button-up shirt here. Those are for the 
younger boys. And then Bella, of course, with her love for plaid shirts, was really excited to find this very soft black plaid. This one here, also, they're just so soft, Bella. You found some really good ones. I know. A white one, just a white cotton, and then this one, which isn't that pretty? That print is going to look so good on her. This is the other thing that Leo found. Leo found this item, and we are not sure what it is, but he got it to power up. It didn't come with a cord, but he had one. And it said Pan Digital Novel. So we don't know if it's some kind of Kindle type device. It said Maybe. it uses some type of Adobe um, software. It has a card reader at the top. I don't know, it's just a couple dollars. So maybe, if any of you have ever heard of this, if we tried looking it up and didn't even see um, like online clearly what it was, so do any of you know what this is? He's gonna fiddle with it and see if he can get it going, but let us know in the comments if you have heard of this pan digital novel. So we were sent this basketball hoop and the kids love it. They have had so much fun over the last month. I will put a link if you're looking for a fun Christmas gift for your kids. I will put a link to it um, underneath this video so you can check it out. Okay, I am going to show you my Azure Standard order for this month. I didn't order at all last month, maybe the month before, I'm trying to remember. And so I had to stock up on a couple of things. Um, it has been two days since I picked this order up and so quite a few of the bags have already been broken into and the rest have been sitting here waiting for me to put them away which is why I am going to show you them right now. Also, if you don't know anything about Azure Standard, they are an independently owned company out on the West Coast, sort of like a bulk food store on wheels. Uh, you place your order, you can sign up for free, which I can put a link and actually, if you do um, end up in the future placing an order through our link, I get a credit and several of you have done that and it's such a blessing to us. But anyway, you sign up, um, and then if you ever want to place an order, you're not bound to ever place an order, but if you want to, I think the minimum is $50 to get your order on the truck. The truck leaves once a month from the West Coast and drives and drops, stops and drops off the orders at all these points across the United States. And then whenever it comes to your area, you go on a certain day and time and everybody helps unload together and then you take your things home. That's how it works. We've been ordering from Azure Standard for over a decade. So I ordered a few bags of things and I actually was highly distracted when I placed my order and you're going to see the results of that. But anyway, um, I got one bag of oat flour. I like having this on hand. Sometimes my husband even will throw some of it into his smoothie for like an extra bulk. Um, I also ordered two Mm, I want to say were they 25 pound bags of of actual rolled oats and they were out of stock so that was a big disappointment I'm going to need to find somewhere else to get those oats because otherwise we have no oats for the next month now here's another thing that I misordered I was trying to get tapioca granules to make tapioca pudding from and instead I ordered tapioca starch whoops I got one bag of Himalayan pink salt. This is five pounds. This is what we like to use for daily use for consumption and cooking too. I got 10 pounds of sucanat. So this is a sugar that is totally unrefined. So it still has, that's why you see this brown color. It's like granulated. It still has the molasses, the minerals, all of those things are still there. I've got that for cooking with. I have two of these blocks of mozzarella cheese, the raw cheddar cheese. I'm thinking it's just probably not going to be available for a good long while because I've been trying to order it for months with no luck. But I got two of these blocks of mozzarella. I got three of these. These are for my girls. So this is the Sophie brand, which is non-toxic. And um, then this one here is for Lydia. So that's, this one is really washable, so that's good for little ones. Okay, over here, we've got one box of orga organic green tea. And then, um, oh, and you know what? I've been using this to make kombucha for years and years, and I do wanna switch to something else, but they actually did not have any bulk tea in stock as far as like a loose green or black. So I went ahead and got this again. I have 
have been getting several requests lately that I would do a video on how I make kombucha. Years ago, I did one. And if you look up Craigie Kombucha, I'm sure you can find it. I still do it the same way, only I don't do the second ferment anymore. I used to do a second ferment with fruit or whatever, but I just don't have time. And my family likes to drink the first ferment anyway, so if you watch that video, just imagine that I'm stopping at that first ferment and we're drinking it there. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay, bottle of Bragg's Liquid Aminos. I use this in place of soy sauce. I really like the coconut aminos, and for some reason, I didn't buy that. Again, who knows where my brain was. Um, one of the vanilla extracts, and I got two of their little essential oils, one peppermint and one lavender. Then I bought this gallon of dish soap, and I was just talking to my friend Abby because she buys the five-gallon size, and it was one of those duh moments that I thought, why am I not buying the five-gallon size? <laughs> it's cheaper price per ounce, and clearly we go through it. So, yeah, look for that in the future. I'm just going to go ahead and get the big one. We've got one gallon of raw cider vinegar with the mother. And then I bought the four pack this time of honey. This was four 12 pound containers. So down here on the floor, because I'm too lazy to lift them to the table, I have sitting my two big bags. This is wheat flour. I use it like all purpose flour. This is an artisan wheat flour. I really like it. Um, and then I also got a 50 pound bag of white wheat berries, but those have already been unloaded and put into my storage. So I store these in big five um, gallon buckets, which I get from bakery departments. They get icing in them, and so you can usually get them for a dollar or so. And then from Azure Standard, I have bought the, um, what are those lids called? Oh my, gamma lids. <laughs> the gamma lids, which you snap on and then they have a spin top. So it makes it really easy to get in and out of your buckets of green or whatever it is that you're storing in them. So that's how I store these things. And then I put them into my pantry in one gallon size glass jars and that's my daily use. So the wheat berries, um, that's been the bulk of what I'm using for bread baking, but I'm also using this a little bit. And if I want to bake desserts or things with sourdough, I'll use this all-purpose flour. Now, the next thing I ordered was this bag. This is 50 pounds of sea salt. And when I got it, I wasn't like really thrilled with it. But that's just my fault for not looking closer. I wanted to put some salt into one of those five gallon buckets in my food storage for long-term storage. It will be totally fine for that, but when I looked at the description, I just looked really quickly. It said sea salt at the top, and I said, okay, I put it in the cart. When I got it, I saw that it is not a salt that I would normally buy. It has magnesium carbonate, I guess, to probably make it flow better. Um, so this wouldn't be my first pick. It will be fine for emergency storage. And lastly, we're walking outside because that's where these are sitting. Three cases of apples, which is can see have been eaten down quite a bit already. They are small, but really yummy. And these were only like $21 a case because they're considered the second. So they have little spots like this, which were not a big deal at all. We can easily cut them out. And this is a 20 pound box. So we're talking about just over a dollar a pound for organic apples that are grown um, right there on the Azure farm. So I was really pleased with those. Um, so overall, my total was $758.94, and I'm just going to quickly run down this if you are curious to prices. Let me just quickly let you know what some of these prices are. Um, so, oh, oh, I forgot. I'm glad I'm looking at this because I forgot to show you a huge, huge thing. This is $119 of my order. Woo! Um, we decided to buy organic alfalfa pellets for our dairy cow. We had been getting just the conventional ones from the farm store, but I was reading more about how they are GMO and sprayed and all this stuff that I've been kind of plugging my ears to because I just didn't want to hear it before. And I finally got convicted and was like, why are we giving this to our milk cow that we're drinking the milk from? So we bought organic alfalfa pellets, um, and we have each 40 pound bag was 30 bucks. We just give her a small ration of that each day. So four 40 pound bags, I think will be a month supply. When we did all the figuring of how much that costs, plus the, the hay that we're buying from the neighbor, 
our milk comes out to about six dollars a gallon that we're putting into it right now in the winter when we don't have any pasture so for still you know raw milk with organic feed which i just figured that um, that is not a terrible price Okay, that box of green tea was $7.45. The gallon of apple cider vinegar was $8.42. The honeys were all four of those honeys. So that is 48 pounds of honey was $168. But we did the math on it because, you know, when you see big numbers, you think, oh my. But when we broke it down, I think it was like $10 a quart for good raw honey. So again, you know, decent price. Um, the salt, the pink salt, the little five pound bag was $4.84. The essential oils were $6 and $9 each for those two different ones. Um, what else? The oat flour, this bag of oat flour, that's a five pound bag was 10 bucks. And the liquid aminos, $9. Now, of course, on all of these prices, you have to figure there is a, a shipping fee added by percentages. Um, but it's still, you know, it's not unreasonable. The sucanat were $15 for five pounds, and the mozzarella cheese, $23 for six pounds. The wheat flour is $53 for that big 50 pound bag, and the wheat berries are $64 for a 50 pound bag. But again, on that one, you have to remember that when you grind them, it does fluff up, and so, if you're measuring cup for cup instead of pound for pound, you get more out of the wheat berries. Vanilla was $13 and tapioca was seven bucks, which is gonna last me a lifetime. Okay, so there you go, that's my total. If you guys place orders with Azure Standard and there's anything that I just need to be buying, please tell me about it in the comments and I'll check it out.